Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we have absolute crazy updates on the Surface Duo One's Windows 11. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is absolutely insanity. So we now have a very polished version of Windows 11 running on the Duo One to a point where this clip right here is a good example of how polished it is. People can run Minecraft and they can also run Skyrim 64-bit games fluently, no lag, no issues on a Duo 1. Now, I know you might say, well, I can run Minecraft on my Duo 1 too. I can download from the Play Store. Guys, this is a completely different OS. To install a new operating system on a device like this and then have it be able to run 64-bit is absolutely crazy. And, I mean, this this is just nuts. By the way, shout out to Shane Craig for posting this clip right here. But as you guys can see, he is going ahead and actually uh, running... Was that Animal Crossing? It looks like Animal Crossing. And I, I'm not sure what his FPS was right there. Let me see. Uh, his FPS is 12 FPS. So, again, not... Ah, it's FPS. Don't get me wrong. But he's able to run a full 3D game running on a Surface Duo with Windows 11. Now, I've tried some games. I, again, like I said before, I don't think I installed this correctly, Windows 11 of mine. Because mine is still a little buggy. But, um, glad to see everyone else is absolutely destroying it when it comes to this. So, I'm going to tell you right now, guys. If you have not done so already... Give the Surface Duo a try. Now, I'm not saying you got to pick up Surface Duo and install Windows 11. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you are going to think about doing it, it's not a bad idea, in all honesty. But this is what really makes me excited for the Duo 3. Because we know Gus is already working on the Duo 2 to have Windows 11. And keep this in mind. This right here is Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 1 with a Snapdragon 855 processor. Uh... I believe it's 855 processor it might be one before that and then it has six gigabytes of ram right obviously okay not 120 hertz displays now even the duo 2 has 90 hertz displays but not 120 hertz displays then you take all that on this duo one have added to everything that is now upgraded on the duo two you get eight gigabytes of ram now you get a, I think that the Duo 2 does have this Snapdragon 855 processor. You get upgrade everything. You can really do a lot more. And then now you got a Duo 3 on the horizon. Which is going to have one UI 4.1.1. Most likely Android 12L. Most likely also going to have probably the same gigabytes of RAM. I'll be honest. I'm probably not going to upgrade the gigabytes of RAM at all. But you're also going to have the ability to have an upgraded processing unit inside. And that's just going to be absolutely crazy. So I cannot wait to see, you know, the Surface Zero 2 run Windows 11. Once he's able to run Windows 11 with Surface Zero 2, that's when I'm really going to get interested. That's when things are going to get a little bit even more crazier. But for right now, this is a full on mini PC, a mini laptop on the Surface Duo phone. And shout out to Gus33000, man. Shout out to my mans here for going ahead and actually clutching this out and showing what the Surface Duo could have been. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to say this as if like, oh, now the Surface Duo is over, you know, because obviously we need a Duo 3, okay? Obviously we are have a duo two we need a duo three but that's not really the big thing about it right the big thing is the fact that this is so much progress to affordable phones everywhere this is a pushing us forward in this technology of affordable phones where if you can change an operating system and run this on this device i mean you could do the same concept hypothetically obviously with with a z fold four obviously it's a different you know architect in their architecture but my point is you know this pushes beyond what the developer is giving us so obviously yes a lot of time you know whatever developer gives you you kind of work with that you do whatever this is pushing beyond that and this is giving us insane insane stuff back so i'm gonna tell you right now i can't wait to see what our next update ends up being with the duo 2 
but i'm telling you right now this is an absolute w for the community w for portable phones and w for the duo lineup thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out